I'm here. Standing at the corner with the Bible in your hand, you're walking up to me and cause you don't know where I stand. Gotta fill me in with the fundamental laws, you silly little Christian, let me tell you about God. Hello, we're at the path of the speed and jealous fuck. Hey, what's up, Meatballs? Mr. Meat Hook here. I have a quick unboxing of sorts. Um, it's an envelope with apparently my address plastered all over it. It is from Canada. I've been trying lately to support YouTube channels that I watch more when they do like pens. A um, couple of them I haven't gotten yet, such as Horror and Me and Porter Geek. That was another one that did one. This is for Unboxing Rocks. They got this shit closed up good. Here we go. Okay. They did a pen that they are all individually numbered out of 100. This one is number 61. Looks like they threw some extra stuff in there as well. So that's even cooler. So we'll get to the pen last then. Okay. Oh, some rock cards from the 80s. I had these. In fact, I think they were early in 90s. Yeah. Alice Cooper, who incidentally was the first concert I ever went to voluntarily when I was a kid. My parents were huge into like the, the 50s and 60s rock. So I saw like Wolfman Jack and the Beach, Boy, the Beach Boys, Freddy and the Coasters, uh, Jan and Dean, groups like that. I saw those free at the fair when I was growing up. Alice Cooper was the first concert I ever went to on my own. It was awesome. And that was... Yeah, around this time. Okay, Megadeth. Anthrax, who I actually, ironically, was just listening to while I was in the shower. Yep. This comes with a Pusshead art sticker. Pusshead did the, uh, I don't know if he still does. For a while did all the cover art and a lot of the shirts for Metallica. Their business card. If you guys want to check them out, it's www.unboxingrocks.com. And then the, like I said, the pin is number 61 of 100. And here's the pen. I don't know if you can really tell. I don't think the, the video does it justice, but the flames are glitter, which is really cool. And the whole pin glows in the dark, which is also cool. Um, I really dig this pen. I think this is a great idea for YouTubers because pens are hot right now. They're fairly inexpensive to produce. And then you can charge like 10 bucks for them. You make quite a bit of profit. It's a good little way to promote your channel. Yeah, I like this one a lot. I've already bought uh, one for Joe Manganiello and then I bought one for Johnny Tejas. I'm hoping that the ones for Border Geek and Horror and Me are not sold out because I want to get those as well. Uh, if anyone else has one that I'm not aware of, I'd like to buy it. So let me know in the comments. Anyways, guys, like I said, just a real quick video today. Um, if you like this video, kick the like button with a dick like a chick. Stay cool, stay sexy, just like me.